Hey guys, welcome back to Gnarly Speed Shop. Here with Andrew. Danny's Hi. manning the camera. What's up? So the other night I got in and Danny and I worked till like 2.30 in the morning bleeding the brakes on that boat over there. So the brakes are now officially handled. Yeah. We ran into a couple issues. Mm -hmm. um, one of them was the, the brake line was leaking, so we had to make a new brake line. Yeah, in the rear. We had to like re-flare, bend up a new one. So it was kind of annoying, but Late we got night. it done. Yep. Yeah. So that's handled. And you will be seeing the Tempest very soon because I want to get this thing fired up before I go back home. But today, we're not touching it. We have to make room in the shop. It's getting a little crowded in here. And we have this big old crate over there that needs to be... <laughs> Show them what we got. Needs to be getting down. Yeah, we got this rear end from Mosier. Yeah. <clears throat> Grab that set. Mm -hmm. Set her down over here. Oh, there it is. We got this beauty to install today. You ready for this, Andrew? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. You ever installed one of these before? Not one of these, but... Something similar? Some, something similar, yeah. yeah. Alright. Well. Yeah. Alright, pick up that side, I'll get this side and... What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you. No, I think we're going to have to like, get the... Like open it? Yeah, yeah. We're going to have to get the pry bar, a couple large rocks or a hammer. Mm-hmm. And take these off. Mm. Yeah. So I'll go over the combo a little later, but right now we're actually itching to find out what's in the factory 12 bolt on the Chevelle. So let's walk over there. Yes. I was told it is um, a spool, but it could be a Lincoln locker. <laughs> it might be a Lincoln locker actually. So we're gonna find out. Let's blast this off and we'll pull it down. Yeah. See what's in this 12 bolt. Did he say that it had like 373 gears? He said it was 373 gears with a spool. So, okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna find out. out. Send it to Andrew. Oh, right size, loosen. Oh. Wow, is there no fluid in there? Here, Hold on to that. that. And, oh. oh! Okay, it looks clean. And it is a spool. Wow. Oh. That's cool. Let's find out what gears are in it. I think it should oh, be. Can you count? No, it should be stamped on here, right? Somewhere. Maybe not. So you want to do the math? There's a there's a ratio, right? Like to do it, you count these teeth and then yeah. those. Oh, eh, yeah, no. Whatever. It's, it's 373s. Coming out. It's coming out is it's, what it is. Don't even matter at this point. But, yeah. Oh, my gosh. The underside of this car is about to look so different. Like, yeah, guys. Take a look at what we have right now. Because after this, it's going to be completely transformed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's get to pulling it out. Start zapping stuff off. <laughs> Ooh, there's those springs that you torched the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Those are gonna get replaced with nice coil over shocks from QA1. What, that. this isn't even a three inch? You grabbed the half inch. Guys, this is what how it really is in the shop. All, that, <laughs> all those happy times are just fake. <laughs> God damn it, Andrew. All right, where's the, what is it? Three quarter? Three quarter, yeah. The three quarter, there you go. <laughs> God damn kids. Doesn't even say thank you. <laughs> Wrong side. You know what I'm saying? Oh my. It's like you guys have never done a rear end. <laughs> we just did this to your car, too. <laughs> Can't find the hole, turn on the light. Damn. We were going to do that with the. Three-eighths gun? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, let's take the shocks off. Mm -hmm. Top. And then... The upper arms? 
Yeah. Or no, those you, you, probably leave them so it doesn't just fall. Yeah. This rear end is a lot heavier than the rear end that came out of your Tempest. Yeah, big time. So, last time we just muscled it out. This time I'm wondering if we should set the car like a little bit lower onto the ground so that way we just like let it just let it come down. Yeah. Then we can lift the lift, put the lift up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Don't go up yet. I'm still down here. Are you done yet? No. No. I'm making a career out of it. Ow. Oh no, he's caught. Hang on, Andrew. Hang on. Okay. Give me your hand. Yeah. Okay, he's alive. Okay. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> All right, can I go up? No. <laughs> The um, the lift. Just oh, it's hitting. Dude, this thing looks like it has hydraulics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's freaking in the back. Yes. Turned into a lowrider. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, change of plans. We're making a lowrider. Oh my god, if this thing was like, if the nose was down, I'd be so about this right now. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah we got this. coil springs. This Dang. just screams, screams low rider. I want my Tempest to do this. Maybe pry bar? Where's this one? Well, this side looks like it's ready to come out. It's just it's just barely caught on right here, on the black part right here. But what do you want, a pry bar? Oh, shit. Oh, here. Well, really you, like you always wanted a lowrider. Here really it is. I really do. And now I like really want the Tempest to just freaking. Well, I'll tell you what, this is the closest thing that's going to get to a lowrider in this shop. What Dude. if I kept it outside? Outside? Like maybe across the street? No, like here. Like... <laughs> You, Andrew, are you into low riders at all? I appreciate them. Just from far away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so much hate. All right. Um, okay, so we just got to get those lowers out. Yeah. And then that's it. Yeah, maybe a pry bar. You know what? I just feel bad for the low rider. I just feel bad for those low rider cars because they're like always hopping them and they're like nice cars, you know? I feel like they're just getting beat up. But that's why they they take pride in that. That's why they do them up nice. And then it looks like rolling art. It's like freaking bouncing. And then, just trash eh, the thing. I want a three wheel so bad. Three? What? Yeah, you know when you like, it's like the front one, just the one comes up and then they're like driving like this. Don't know. On three tires? Yeah. You never seen that in? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. Oh my God, that's like the dream. Just be a menace. <laughs> So we can't just, it'll carry the whole diff if you just keep going up with the lower side. Go for it. Let's see what happens. Oh, God. Just don't let it smash into that nicely painted Pontiac over there. Oh, okay. Go. Go. Oh. Go. Oh, gosh. Go. Keep going. Oh, that's so bad. Is it going to hang? I'll be very surprised if it starts hanging. It's coming out. Go ahead. Go ahead. Alright, it's not coming out. Just... There's that side.
Go up a little bit more, Andrew. All right, pull it. There it is. <laughs> That's a 12 volt. Kicking it around. Well, well it's out. I can't tell if that was easier or harder than we when we did mine. That was easier, I think, because when we did yours, we actually like muscled it out of there. Yeah. With the help of that little tripod deal, but mm -hmm. this one we just put it on the ground. That's the way to go. All right. So okay. Clean up and roll it out. Throw it to the trash. Okay. Take it to the dumpster. Do we need any of the hardware? Scrap it. We'll probably reuse these springs for something else. What? <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> no, I'm saying the hardware. Do we? Oh, need oh, oh. I think the kit comes with new hardware, right? From QA1. Yeah. They give you everything. Yeah. So. What if you were to put like a platform? on the lowers right here and have like a horse pull you because you have wheels right that's how the chair this is the chariot <laughs> a 12 volt chariot, a 12 -volt chariot. <laughs> okay then we'll try that later you got a horse <laughs> pull it out wow andrew's chariot yeah <laughs> all right do that all the way to the dumpster no no i'm just kidding this is this thing's worth a pretty penny cool all right yeah. well next we're gonna clean up the bottom of the car scrub it down a little bit and we'll probably shoot some undercoating just to make it look a little bit nicer under here so that way when we're working on it later, we're not having like dirt and stuff fall in our eyes. Yeah. See, this is the difference between Danny's build and my build. Like this level of detail. He's getting right in here, cleaning everything up. We've got the fans blowing. We're like cleaning up as we go so there's not too much of a mess in the shop. But as you guys might have remembered, my Tempest, we did not do any type of undercoating or anything like that. I just figured it's a daily driver and it's going to, you know, see some serious miles, so I didn't care about making it too nice. But this NASCAR is going to be a beauty. It's a weight reduction. Yeah. It's just better for when you're working on the car later, you know? Did it? Yeah. It's pretty bad. It's worse than I thought. Well, it's gonna be a lot better than it is, that's for sure. Now that I think about it, we probably should have uh, just acid dipped the whole car. Oh my god. I'm serious. I kinda regret it. Are you taking I it just, that far? I just didn't think we were gonna get this far, like this high end into the build you know i thought it was going to be like a low like a budget thing at first yeah but just all the parts that were needed started to get expensive yeah and custom so it's like if i'm going to be putting that much money into it like might as well make it look nice right it is gonna look nice it's just kind of working with what you have yeah it'll still be good well like i said a lot better than it is now or before at least you cleaned it and that took off about a pound of weight yeah. and just dirt so we'll just go through and like wire wheel it again just lightly one more time then we'll just uh degrease it and then we'll spray it okay and then how far are we going we're going up until like here yeah we're going to here from here back because um this floor is probably going to be getting cut a lot so there's no sense in us cleaning the floor right now until after the floor yeah, is after fabricated it's done. okay makes sense so from there back, and then we'll put that nice fresh Mosier rear end in. Mm -hmm. It's gonna look great. With the QA1 suspension, it's gonna look so nice under here. Okay, the guys are just finishing up all the masking. And this is gonna be really nice because then we don't have to worry about getting crap all over the nice primer. 
I have this space to work in. Danny even went as far as taping off the body bushings. So this thing is gonna be quite the show car, huh? <laughs> it's gonna be the go car. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A little bit of show, but mostly go. Mm-hmm. I was thinking we gotta put a, like a wicker spoiler thing on the back here. Yeah. Since it's a NASCAR. Oh, right? we have to, we have to. And a parachute. Oh my gosh. Cause it's actually gonna be like a drag car. Technically. Like for the street. Yeah. You really want to be like rolling up a parachute on the street? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Better learn how to pack chutes. Andrew, how's it going? Done. Yes. I want to hear it in the comment section. Everybody does it. <laughs> I mean, who hasn't painted without a mask? Mm -hmm. Apparently a lot of people on the internet. Just, they're so quick to call you out on it. As long as you stay on this side of the fans, you know, where you're spraying, it's all going that way. Mm -hmm. So we should be fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm inhaling it right now. <laughs> This side, you can't even it's smell like it. It's like a big old sharpie Because all the air is going that way. Mm -hmm. A big old sharpie? Yeah. All right, let's check out their work. Yeah, sure. Wow. <laughs> You guys did awesome. It's not not too bad. I think it's gonna look really good with the rear end and the suspension in here. It's just, just gonna have that like contrast. Yeah. Damn. Nice stuff. All right, so what's next? Um, We got all the parts over there. QA1 parts came in and you, they already saw the Mosier. Yep. So we gotta put it all together. All right, so Mosier packages their crate rear ends so well that it's almost easier to just use the cherry picker here to pluck it out rather than take apart all these boards. So that's what we're doing. But I'm super impressed that the uh, these just slid like right underneath. So that's super nice. So we're gonna get it out of here and then show you the rest of the parts. This is the coolest part that we've gotten for the build so far. This is the Mosier Crate 12 volt, and it's part of their muscle pack rear end series. So it ships exactly as you see it. We opted for the Willwood um, disc brakes with the drilled and slotted rotors, and it's got the gorgeous red calipers on it. So we opted for those, and it's really nice because 
it's done. Everything is like perfectly aligned and they have the uh, flex line set up here. And Danny already mm. did the hard lines for it. So it's going to go together super simply, which is really nice for this build because this is taking a lot of Danny's time in terms of like engineering the front suspension that we'll show you in a minute. So this was super cool to just be like, this is done, this is handled. Now we can just install it and we know it's going to be super mm -hmm. beefy. So a quick rundown on the specs on this thing. Um, like I said, it's a 12 volts factory length. Um, but what we did was we got 342 rear gears to match the gears in the front diff over there. And it's got a true track, um, 33 spline axles with the big Ford flanges. So there's no C clips in this thing and even went with the beefy, uh, 1350, uh, joint in the back. So <laughs> this thing is pretty tough. All, uh, the rear ends come with the Mosier, um, uh, girdle front cover and we have plenty of adjustability for the QA1 suspension which is right here. So that brings me to this stuff. So this is QA1's um, rear suspension kit for A bodies and this is actually their drag race suspension kit. The only thing that we're missing is the rear sway bar because that comes with it but it's actually on its way over here right now. So this is everything else. You have your um, rear coilovers right here. I forget, we went with the, which one's 450. it? 450. 450, yeah, in the rear. These might be a little heavy, but we can always change them out. Um, you have your uppers, lowers, the adjustable sleeves here. And these are kind of neat. These are their anti-hot bars. So we're gonna see if we're gonna run these because Mosier actually has um, something built in to the rear end where it kind of like already raises the location of the upper arms. So we'll see, but it's really neat because it prevents wheel hop. So that's the rear suspension. So this is a complete kit that you can get from QA1. So that was another great thing that's like already handled. We just got to install it in the car. And I guess that brings us to the front. If you want to explain that, Danny. Sure. To... Okay. So you want to take the camera? Sure. Well, 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 what we have here <laughs> is a collection of different parts from a bunch of different cars. And so far what is working and what I think is going to work is these 1997 S10 um, axles, CV axles. They're actually the perfect length. So from hub to hub now is exactly 61 inches, which is about a half inch wider than the original track of the car. So that's gonna be right where we want it basically. Um, we ended up switching to a Oldsmobile Bravada wheel hub instead of the Z06 hub, the Corvette. Yeah. So that's changed. Um, I've had to mess with the geometry of this like so much and do a lot of grinding and cutting and there's still some, a little bit more welding to do. But as you can see here, mm -hmm. look how tight the clearances are. So I actually had to notch this just a little bit to get that to fit. That's how tight everything has to be to get the dimensions so that this car doesn't um, have torque steer. Yeah. Or we're hoping that's what we're um, battling there with that. But anyways, there's still a lot more to do with this, but for right now, it's looking promising. And um, we got something put together here that I think is gonna work. Yeah, that was like, that blew my mind when he told me that like the length of this thing was still, like it was super close to what it is like factory. Yeah. That blew my mind. Cause that's huge to not need custom CVs. If, yeah. we can, if we can use these. Yeah, yeah, they're in there. So this should theoretically work. The I think the next biggest issue for me is gonna be getting the um, rack and pinion to fit here. We're gonna have to do kind of like a custom rack and pinion deal for this, but we'll cross that bridge later. It's all looking good though. So yeah, this is real quick. This is the front setup. This is the rear suspension. And that is our beautiful Mosier 12 volt that is going in the car. Yeah, we're gonna put it in the car today. Right, Andrew? That's right. Got any more energy left? <laughs> Almost, man. <laughs> <laughs> Some more coffee. Oh, this is 
Speedway Gray, by the way. Did you already? I don't, I don't know if you mentioned no, that. No, I forgot. You're right. Yeah. So I actually was saying I kind of dig this more than my black powder coat. I really yeah. like it. So it's Speedway Gray. If you're looking to order one, definitely get this color. It looks sharp. And it's cool because they paint all the brackets to like match. So all the brackets are Speedway Gray. Yep. It looks good. So. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we'll get the car back up in the air again. And we're going to start bolting the QA1 suspension onto this beautiful rear end. And we're going to lift it up in there. Yep. You feeling strong, Andrew? Yes. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> this thing probably weighs three times as much as you. Yeah. I think we'll use the bench. <laughs> okay, guys. So we are trying to figure out how to get this up here in the most optimal way possible. We've got the QA1 hardware all laid out. We're trying to figure it out. We got Matt underneath the Tempest. <laughs> we're using the Tempest as reference right now to like try and figure out what we're doing. Have we already figured out? Yeah? Yeah. Even though we have instructions, I mean, who the heck is reading those? But <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna tackle this right now. Andrew's on a job, Danny is someplace, and yeah. It's just me and Matt. Let's get it done. Figured it out. Yeah, these sleeves are like the most annoying part of this whole installation. Don't tell me it's not gonna fit. Oh. Oh my goodness. Is it? You know what? We're probably gonna pull it out. Oh, it's not I gonna, see. It's I not see. Not gonna slide over that, or just do this. You can slide it out a little bit. It's gonna have to be one or the other. We have to um, pull this out a little bit. Okay. See? Perfect. But oh, then, the why is it so. Oh, I see. I'm gonna get a, open it back up so it'll, uh, it'll touch. There, see? Oh my gosh. Shoot. I've been around Danny yeah. quite a bit. <laughs> You're trained well. Yeah, I'm me. still learning. <laughs> nice. Okay, that's one side. Now we're going to do the other. Okay hey guys, so we are missing hardware for the, what is it, the coil uh, coilover bracket? Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna use this as reference. We're heading over to the hardware store now in the Slayer Camaro. Thank you, Danny, for letting us take it. Jeez. Shoot, let's go. It's been a while since I've driven old girl. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, we got the goods back in the Good slayer. <laughs> Look how good it looks. Mm. Yeah, 
Oh, wow. When you like step away and come back. Okay, we got the goods. Cool. You guys have fun? Yeah, yeah he, he was there. Too. Oh, he was? For oh, his cool. engine, for cool. his little Honda engine. How do you drive it? Oh, he drove I, it. I, I really? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's been a drove minute. Like a gorilla, man. Stick. Yeah. No, cool. it's cool. Well, this is ready to go in. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let it's me put this done. down and then. Look at that. I Check know. that beauty out. Yeah, just need to bolt the shocks on and then we can lift it up and tighten everything up. Are you ready? I've been waiting. Oh, oh. oh dang. <laughs> wow. So good. Take a look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so nice. Is that what you wanted? That's more than I wanted, but <laughs> I'll take it. With the brakes on and everything. Oh, dang. Oh my gosh. I mean, yeah, for sure a NASCAR has to have a rear end that looks something like that though, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, that thing is going to be so beefy for what you're doing. and. Ooh. Mm. Can't wait. I love that there. color. I know. It's gonna look really cool once we do the front suspension. Once oh, we yeah. bolt on all of that over there. All of that. You gotta do that to shit. the new frame. If you can, like the same color as the rear end. Yeah. 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 Powder coat it to match the rear end. Oh, it looks so aggressive. Yes. Check it out. It's thirteen fifty. I mean, we're gonna have a lot of fine tuning to do with the suspension, but this is a, it's in there. Yeah. It's in there. And that crate can go now. Yep. Make some room in the shop. All right, let's put the tires on. Okay. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh my God. I was, I was a little worried about the yeah. calipers hitting. Cool. Heck yeah. Oh my. Look at that. You can see the calipers through the yeah. little slots. It all looks so good together. Wow. Oh, yeah. Here we are. Wheels and tires are on. Oh my God. Look at those meats. Yes. That looks proper. I think we should um, show this also in the daylight tomorrow. Yeah. Just so people can get yeah, like. It's getting late. It's a little dark in here. Well, we'll give you guys some detailed shots of everything, but yeah. I mean, of course, everything still needs to be tightened down. We just got it all hung up in here. Shout out to Mosier for making such an awesome product. This is one of their muscle pack rear ends and they have all sorts of different ones too. You could get a nine inch. Um, they have other stuff for Fords, um, but yeah, we just went with a classic 12 bolt because that's what this car had. These QA1 um, rods look really cool too. Yeah. Just looks really good with like the red and everything. Yeah. Nice. I like it a lot. Nice. That's all that matters if you're happy. But yeah, we will uh, catch you guys in the morning and show you this in proper daylight. Good morning, guys. We are back. We are torquing everything down. Have the torque specs right here. And Andrew's gonna muscle it. I just impacted everything to get it started, but he's gonna he's gonna really crank it down. Okay. So um 70 70. So maybe 70, start with it. These QA1 A arms look good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the only thing there wasn't specs for is these and then the actual like bracket itself, like obviously. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what you want to do. But... We'll just uh, guess. Just guess. Let's 
skim tight. Um, what's that saying called? Uh, uh, fake it till you make it? No. Um, Can't beat him, Jordan. For, for torque specs. Uh, German torque spec? Yeah, yeah. Guten Titan? Guten Titan, yeah. <laughs> Guten Titan. <laughs> Okay, that works. Wow, this is so nice. Right? Doesn't it look so good in the daylight? Yeah, and I like that you can see the wheel woods through the D holes. Oh, sorry. All right, guys, that is a rear end install, and we have the QA1 suspension all on there, torqued everything down. Um, the sleeves just gotta be adjusted, and obviously we're gonna play with the ride height a little bit as well, but you know, it's in here. It looks gorgeous. I, I, I'm obsessed with it. I think it looks amazing. Danny, are you happy? I am more than happy with this, that's yeah. for sure. Good. I almost don't even want to put up the fuel cell like hanging low here because it's gonna block the rear end. So. Oh, I know. I think it'll we'll just sink it like halfway down. Yeah, you gotta have this visible. But I just wanted to properly like thank Mosier and QA1 for getting on board with this build and sponsoring the all-wheel drive Chevelle. It was a major thing for them to trust us. You know, this is a build that's never been done before. So any company that gets on and supports the vision, we cannot thank you enough. And especially when your parts are as gorgeous as this and very beefy. Yeah. <laughs> like this, this should hold up. Definitely. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled with it. But yeah. Thank you, Mosier. Thank you, QA1. We have a lot more work to do, not only on this car, on the Tempest, and we have a bunch of other projects here at the shop. So do not miss a video. They're coming out every Tuesday. We got gnarly Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. And uh, be sure to check out some of the older videos on the Chevelle to follow up on that build. Mm -hmm. And anyway, we appreciate you guys watching. So we'll see you next time. See you next time.